Hi there, my name is Jen Jump and I'm an academic officer with Teacher Creative Materials. Typically, you would find me traveling the nation, working with teachers and students across the United States, ensuring that they have the very best strategies and materials in their hands. Today, like many of you, I'm finding myself at home with my daughter who's out of school for at least a few weeks now. This is my daughter. Could you say hello to everyone, please? Hi, my name is Evelyn. Evelyn is a sixth grader, but what I'm going to show you today would work with any student from about, I would say, second grade all the way until eighth grade. And here's the thing. This is a great activity for helping students navigate informational text, or what we like to call grown-ups non-fiction text. So here's what I started by doing. I ensured I had all of the right materials, pretty basic. Number one, we needed some index cards. If you don't have index cards, no worries, you can just cut some paper up. We also needed to make sure we had some markers or even just a regular old pen would work. And finally, we needed to make sure we had an informational piece of text that Evelyn would enjoy. Evelyn, can you show what you found in your bedroom library? Tell us what it's called. Count Me In Soccer Tournament. So she just found an excellent book about soccer, something she's been interested in since early, you know, in early in her childhood. And so now what I asked her to do, number one, is read the book. And after she finished reading, I asked her to take about 15 or so index cards and show us, Evelyn, what you did with those index cards. I wrote words on them. Tournament, goal, championship. Thank you for sharing a few examples with us. So on each and every one of the cards, she put information or one word or quick phrase of words from the book that she read. And once she did that, then she began creating her word web. This word web was completely up to her. She could navigate and create it any way she wanted. Just so you know, I got this idea from my amazing colleague, Lavana Roth, in her Brain Powered Strategies to Engage All Learners. Now, let's go look at Evelyn's word web. Once Evelyn put all of her words on the index cards, she organized them. She organized them just like this. You can see she chose to put a heading and then see three separate categories. After creating these categories, I could ask her to do a variety of things like write questions for an interview or create a blog post. I could ask her to write an informational piece of text about soccer or write a story about the very best soccer game she ever played. I hope you find this tool a useful opportunity to engage your students in great reading and fun things to do with text. Thank you!